I think I am looking forward to being able to get back in the office a little bit more. Yeah. Um, even because I think some of the remote conversations will be easier having met people face to face. I think having yeah. that balance makes it easier. I don't know if you find that because you've worked with some people face to face and other people you would have just met remotely. Yeah, obviously we've grown quite a lot over the past two years, which is really strange. So there is, yeah, there's some staff that I know very well and some that I have met once in, physically in person. Obviously we spent like again the past 18 months working together, but I've only actually met them once um, when we did our away day last year. And yeah, that's it is a really strange relationship. And I think when you know, when you get to know people a little bit more in person, then you do understand a little bit more about the nuance of how they talk, what their body language means, some of those things that are that can be easier to pick up on in person. It means you can't, doesn't mean you can't do it remotely, but it can be easier to learn it in person to then be able to apply that remotely. Yeah. So yeah, as we go, I think definitely as we start going back into the office, as things start going back to normal, whatever normal looks like. We're never going to go back to being an organisation that's like 90% in the office like we used to be. Um, we're going to go, it's always going to be this mixture of hybrid working because we've just got a more physically spread out workforce now. We've got covering a much larger part of the country. We've got projects going on in different places that everyone is that bit more spread out. Coming into the office four or five days a week just doesn't make sense for the majority of people anymore. But... Um, yeah, so there was always going to be a mixture of hybrid working. I think finding that, what that balance is for different people is going to be really interesting going forward. But having those opportunities to come together as a group, to meet in person, facilitates the rest of it, for, facilitates that remote working and that ongoing hybrid working. And again, there's going to be, I can really see that we're going to be going to a position where we're going to be having, so for example, team meetings and there'll be half the team in the office and half the team are on remote. And in the past, that was a really difficult experience when you were the one person who needed to work from home that day because of life stuff or whatever. Um, and you were like on the little phone. Yeah, when you were that, yes, when you were that person that was like on the phone that was in the corner of the table and you were trying to hear what everyone was saying, which was really hard and everyone kind of forgot that you were there because having that mixture of present and not present was still weird. That was really hard. But now everyone's got a used to just looking at a screen, looking at people on the screen more. We've had some experience of people coming back in and having these meetings, which are split real in person and remote. And we've got the tech set up better now. So it's not just a phone perched on the corner of a desk. It's the projector with the proper um, voice conferencing system and the screens so that people can actually hear you and see you and you feel like you're a part of the room so making sure that that, that setup is there makes it makes it work but again the more that you know the people the better it works it's the tech on its own isn't going to fix the problems the tech on this the tech is a supporter to make the people interactions work better but yeah you need both bits it's it's that kind of two sides of participation, isn't it? You need the technology to allow everyone to participate regardless of where they are and just that little bit of know-how about the individuals involved to know how they will best participate and how you can best engage them, whether they're in person or remote. Um, and I know, or historically when we've come back to the office, it was about having those team days in the office and I think it would be good as well if we could think about hybrid working where we get different groups of people together. So whether that's everyone across all teams who works at programme officer level or um, head of level, or just mi even if we do mix it up randomly, like we do with our um, weekly one-to-one -one chats where you're assigned a random person, you could even have that where it's this random collection of people, if they can, get in the office on this day. And, you know, obviously flexing that as you need to for people's individual needs but just making sure that you know this person who hardly ever works with person b gets that opportunity to see them 